Okay, so here we have a pair of cans, and then we have an extra can over here. So this is going to go on your link to Aaron, and these two in series go on the link to Eric. Now, what I did, we took my generator, or uh, uh, spectrum analyzer here, and let's go to, well, let me do that. Not without switching, okay. Um, anyway, this is uh, tuned to uh, 433.525, and this is your attenuation. Now, how can I show you how much that is? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dial the frequency up to 446.975. 446.975. Now, that is just a teensy bit of attenuation. Now I'm going to run by megahertz, so 445, 444, 443, 2, 1, 440, and then 435, 433. Okay, that is about 37 dB of attenuation. That should keep the two radios out of each other, yes? Now I'm going to dial it back up to 444, dot 525, which is what I was doing before, and you can see there's a little over 10 dB of attenuation. Now I'm going to go and change the span here to um, show you the entire spectrum here. So that's centered on 444.525. I'm going to move it, center frequency, I'm going to move it back up to 440. Six, so that's four forty six nine seven five, and that's what it's centered on. And I'll show you where four forty four thirty three is. It's down there. So now the center is on four thirty three. Now you can see it even drops further as it goes down the band. So if we were to drop down to four twenty one. Um, we're 10, 20, 30, 40 something dB down. And up the band into the GMRS area. So we're um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 48 dB down in, uh, up at 462.975. So this ought to be pretty cool. Now you can you, now <laughs> running five watts to boot this and having the beam pointed away from the other stuff. This ought to be awfully low impact on your operations, excepting for the high end of the 440 repeater subband. That's where it's going to hurt, but it's not going to hurt that much.